Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm using this, which is very rare, I just PCB piping it in uh, stuff in many ways, half pound, quarter pound, very, very light. Now the idea here is that I'm going to be doing like nunchuck moves, except that I don't have a nunchuck and I'm not very coordinated with it anyway, but this I've got down. Now all I'm going to be doing is this movement, here, 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 and here, and as you can hear, I hit the ceiling. So if you're using a longer staff, be careful. I don't want to get a call from somebody saying he hit my ceiling. All right, now, what I'm actually doing from this angle here is I start with it like this. You see my hand is palm down. It comes all the way up and drops behind. And this hand comes over, thumb up, and I grab it over here. Now at this point, I simply go up underneath and again, I drop it over this shoulder, and I grab it here. Then I come along, and on this side, here, and here, and here. Now I have to be careful when I'm doing it that I make a solid contact here before I release. Because if I don't, if I release before I have that, then we have a problem. So the idea is that it's firm, solid contact, even if it's just thumb and uh, big finger. Right, I have solid contact each time I change it. Each time I change it. Solid contact. Now you notice when I'm doing this, about a third, a third, and a third. Now what I'm actually doing when I'm actually here is I'm coming up and it could be an underhand strike. I could be striking underhand like that. I could even go up higher or I could turn it and come with the bridge part. In other words, from here, I can come up in this manner. So that I'm actually coming up striking, or using a sword. Instead of striking with the edge, with the edge, I'm striking with the ridge. I'm coming up with the ridge. Well, that's what I'm doing here. The ridge of the staff, as it were. Now, the idea is again, here, from here, it comes up. And I just twirl it into here. But the application, I could go low, I could go high, I could even stab it if I want and go this manner. Basically, this coordination drill allows me to become familiar with this staff and how I work it, how I use it. And as you can see, I can walk backward and forward doing all these moves with it. But again, I can strike, I can strike, I can come up, strike, strike, or up. Or I can strike low. Again, you see I missed, but I had the grip low. Then I have the grip. Now this leaves me very vulnerable. At this particular position, I have both hands over and they're both trapped. So if there's an attack comes in over here, I'm kind of stuck, I'm gonna have to move. No matter how quick I can get over here, it's still difficult because I have both hands back and away. So this drill is a lot of effort and it seems like it's easy and simple. And that's great, because I want to do a lot of it to the point where I don't have to think about it. So that it comes in, I can go out of the way, and you're ready. The idea is that I want to go one, two, and again and again, and all the way to that grip. Coming close, which is what happens most of the time, is usually a function of this hand here not going back far enough, or this hand here not going over enough. Because if I'm doing this movement without the staff, then I can go all the way to here, almost to my touching. All the way to here, almost touching. With the staff, it makes it so much easier. And there's a lot of stretching involved. It's way over. Way over. Way over. And way over. Way over. Like that. Like that. You can see my shoulders are turning so much as I'm doing that. I'm completely square. Then I have to reach over and I don't quite make it. So I have to turn it. So when I come over, I turn. And you see a miss. Over the grip. Or when you turn, you concentrate on that grip. That's why if I've missed, I could come back and around. And I come back and I hold. I don't let go until I have the other hold. And I have to turn, and a slight turn of the shoulders, and in this case the hips, so it comes through. Now you notice I'm not standing to a deep stance like this, because I'd have to come in at an angle. So I come straight down, I'm going to glance. 
Where is it at an angle? Angle, angle, and grip. Then here, not just an issue, again, you see it is given. Here, and here, and here. One of the reasons I chose this is because it's got a lot of rubber involved in it. Anyway, that's how you do it. Something like that.